Got it. Okay, thanks. Okay, so uh, it's six o'clock and I'm gonna call the meeting to order. Uh, this is the meeting of the Town Manager Screening Committee. Um, and with me is Chris Menard and Peter Beardmore and I'm Tim Murphy. And um, Tom Alonzo um, let me know that he's unavailable because they are interviewing for interim town managers uh, tonight. And, uh, and Matt Brenner had already told us he was gonna be on vacation. So um, that's where we stand. So we are a smaller, but I would think quorum anyways committee. Um, so the first thing on the agenda is to review and approve the minutes. And I'm gonna be absolutely certain that none of you read them because I didn't draft them yet, um, but I'll get to it. <laughs> I have notes, I have minutes, but I was on vacation as you guys both know. And so it just was not high on my priority list to, uh, to take care of. And I should offer uh, your my apologies for cutting out on you. The night before I had tested my connectivity in one part of the campground and, and it was horrible. The select board told me that I kept cutting out. So then I'd moved closer to the office where it's, it's, it was better, obviously, um, but it did cut out. I did get back on, but but Alonzo told me by then you guys had decided that you weren't gonna wait for me. <laughs> Who knows how long it would take. So there you go. Uh, so the first thing on the agenda is to report back uh, from um, our conversations and assignments from last meeting. And I think uh, I know that Peter was gonna do some work on um, recruitment committee, recruitment firms rather. Yeah, so, um, so I did some, um spent an enormous amount of time trying to figure out how to find Bennett and Yarger. Uh, yeah. And uh, best I can tell, uh, they closed their shop uh, down on the South Shore of the Cape um, sometime within the last several years. Okay. Uh, and one of their partners relocated to California and is operating under a a different name. Um, I made a, an attempt to reach out to him and was unsuccessful. Um, as it turns out, their, um, their domain name, uh, which was Bennett Search, um, was picked up by another uh, a recruiter uh, and a guy named Hal Bennett, who's based in, uh, also in California, um, who I wound up having a, a lovely conversation with earlier in the week. Um, he focuses mostly in high tech, but um, it was a good opportunity to have a discussion about, you know, his view of the recruitment market and what standard is, um, you know, at least in the the sectors that he operates in. Um, what the the package that he described was not, was similar to what you had described in terms of the the services that uh, had previously been been delivered in a previous search, um, and the numbers were similar to to what I had uh, expected of a you know a, a, a technology recruiter, which is um, a, a retainer. Uh, his retainer is seventy five hundred dollars, uh, and then twenty eight percent of first year salary. Uh, which is actually a little bit more than I thought. Um, I did a little bit more snooping and um, just through looking at um, minutes for other uh, screening uh, committees that have have operated in the state of Massachusetts in recent years. And there's another firm that has uh, come around in the last five years called Community Paradigm Associates, Paradigm Associates. Um, and uh, their partners are uh, John Petron and, and Bernie Lynch. Um, and my understanding, I spoke with Bernie Lynch yesterday, who is uh, gracious enough to speak with me from his vacation in Scotland um, and stepped out of a pub to, to chat with me for a bit. Um, but I understand that his partner has also spoken with somebody from Lunenburg. Um, I don't know specifically who. Um, he he did not know the name, but referenced a chairman of the board. I reached out to you yesterday, Tim, to, to see if you knew anything about it and have not been able to, to put a finger on this. Um, 
It might have been Tom Alonzo because Tom had said yeah. that he was going to also try to look around yeah. for recruiters. Yeah, may have been. Um, in any event, what what he outlined to me was um, uh, a, a pretty comprehensive uh, consulting um, uh, program. Um, we agreed to, to talk uh, following our conversation tonight via email and, and perhaps live next week. Um, he outlined a 14 to 16 week uh, timeline. Uh, that would include uh, a scoping exercise with our committee, as well as other stakeholders, likely uh, incumbent, um, perhaps department heads, perhaps select board members, uh, depending upon how we scope it, um, putting together a, a profile uh, from which, you know, uh, it would be used for for basically recruiting of of candidates um and uh you know all of the direct consulting and advice uh vetting of candidates reference checks all that sort of thing um as as part of the the um the package um and the the cost that he outlined was uh between 12 and 14 thousand dollars um which is right in line with what you had suggested tim was what um yeah uh, was you know the the what what was done previously um the only thing that sits outside of that and we could choose to run it through them uh, or choose to do it on, on our own is the advertising portion which he estimated to run you know, between seven hundred and a thousand dollars, and and the the big delta there is, um, you know, he thought yes, you you definitely want to advertise through MMA. Um, ICMA is a is a is a national or international um, uh, uh, site, and and therefore is going to cast a wider net. But you know, we talked specifically about. The Massachusetts thing and you know do we want to get somebody who is um uh experienced in Massachusetts interestingly he had a different take than ours when it came to experience in Massachusetts specifically and and I had said you know Massachusetts has some pretty peculiar uh ways of operating when it comes to local aid when it comes to you know, Department of Local Services and DESE and all these things. And and um, his take was, um, yeah, but, you know, frankly speaking, every state has its own peculiarities. It's a matter of, you know, can you, can you, uh, um, you know, assimilate uh, to what, to, to whatever the circumstances are. He said the, the actual, um, sort of uh, experience or knowledge that that he would be looking for, uh, particularly if he was looking at out-of-state candidates, would be experience with town meeting government. Um, it, because it is not a um, is not a common form of government outside of the Northeast in, in New England in particular. Um, and you know the examples that he gave were, you know, you could have somebody that has moved back and forth, you know, kind of the example I gave of my brother last week, moves has moved in and out of government and, and the private sector may have moved out of Massachusetts and, you know, has been looking to get back or, or something along those lines. So, um, you know, have direct experience, may have direct experience, may have grown up in a, in a town meeting setting um, and may, you know, may have a career goal to get back to it. That, you know, I, I think we take it for what it's worth. He's more experienced than we are in, in dealing with this kind of thing. So I thought it was an, an interesting take. Um, but that that is, you know, in a nutshell, um, what uh, what I gathered. I was actually kind of encouraged by the, the timeline that he offered. Um, the other thing that was <laughs> extremely apparent from the conversation um, he was very familiar with us uh, and um, with, uh, you know, like he, he referenced Heather by name, 
by her first name um, and gave examples of conversations that are likely to come out of a recruitment process, such as what happened with Heather? Why is she leaving? You know, what was the experience? What was the good, the bad? Uh, the, all, all of those kinds of things. Um, and, you know, also referenced the, the reality, which is, um, you know, this is a this is a relatively small community uh, and and everybody knows each other and um, probably already, you know, a lot a lot of our, um, uh, you know, probably first pool of candidates already knows that there's a vacancy. Uh, and and, um, you know, so. So yes, there is proactive outbound recruiting and targeting that can go on here based on what they know of other people uh, or, or other folks in other roles throughout the state of Massachusetts. Um, but this is largely a, a you know, networking and back channels uh, conversations kind of kind of game. Uh, and, and naturally, you know, I think that that is probably, you know, a sales pitch for somebody in that line of work. Um, but I, but, but nevertheless, probably a, a good point. Peter, 16, 14 to 16 weeks was to what milestone? Um, yeah, to a higher, a candidate? to a higher, to higher. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, he, he, you know, th this is not, this does not, it would not, I, my understanding is, is that the engagement would not end with us. It ends with the select board and their their decision. Right, we're at four, we're at the 14, 16 weeks, and then the select board might take you know no no no, no but that's no, on that, them. That wasn't really my understanding. He was thinking of you know like we can do this the whole thing, including the select board's part. Okay, inside of sixteen weeks, um, but you know I mean obviously a lot can happen, right? Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of margin on both sides. Right. Does anyone know if Select Board discussed this last night? I, I lost power. I didn't watch. Yeah. I watched only the opening public comments and didn't get much past that. It's typically but I don't the most think entertaining they, part I, of the meeting. So, you know. Yeah. Um, because I didn't honestly like that timeline seems really good and that price seems really compelling. And I, I don't know, just being an amateur through this process, it seems like to me it would be a, a wise investment. Yeah, I so, mean, I, I think we would need to have a conversation with them, maybe get some email going and maybe bring them into our next meeting. But I, I tend to agree. Um, can you choose from the menu or is it uh, you take the whole package? For example, I, I mean, yeah. the profiling and some of those types of things, I don't think we need so much of that. What we really need is somebody that would do more than just post it uh, at MMA and ICMA, you know, somebody that's going to actually do some back channel, as you put it, uh, recruiting. I mean, that's, a, that's to me, is attractive. Uh, the reference checking, I think, is attractive. Uh, although, you know, we can do a lot of that ourselves as well. Um, yeah, I think, uh, Tim, the, the, the straight answer is, I don't know the answer yeah. to the question. Uh, you know, I mean, it I, I don't know. I, I will tell you that the emphasis that he put on the the profiling is they feel that they really need to understand us to properly represent us into the marketplace. Yeah. Um, and and I you know that that's what I gather. So I don't think it's a you know we hand him the you know the first page of the uh, emerging. Um, uh, you know, strategic plan that that you know describes what Lunenburg is, and that's sufficient. I don't, I don't think that that's the case. Yeah, because it's a two way thing too, right? It's yeah. not only getting it out so that the best qualified candidates apply, but it may be trying to entice them to to actually take the job, and un, you know, so like, that all. I don't know. To me, it seems like a good good move. And would probably cut down on our time on trying to research stuff because they just yeah the it. timeline is better than I was I had feared that we were no. going to run into a, a it would really slow us down because I I have great concern that we're going to be well behind the eight ball when it comes to budgeting and next year if we don't have somebody on board but if, if it was you know soup to nuts and done in sixteen weeks you know give or take 
um, you know, that would be attractive. And maybe the whoever they're going to get for the interim will be good enough with the budget process. Um, I have no idea about that, of course. I yeah. do feel like my opinion on that too, though, is, is like this is someone that we might have for eight to 10 years. So, you know, one, one budget cycle, I think we can get through, uh, but it's the long-term gain on it. Yeah. So eight to 10 years, as much as you're going to get, you know, these, these, it's, it's rare that somebody stays in, in the uh, town manager jobs um, for 10 years. They, they say the average is five. So we've been lucky with seven and eight the last two times, but <clears throat> And if things were different at the select board, maybe Heather would still be there, but who knows? <laughs> um, okay. So um, what's our next step in that regard, though? Do we just invite him to come to a, a future meeting uh, and continue the process? Do we have to get this in front of the select board, and which is its own problem because they're not meeting on a regular enough basis as a full board, at least? Well, Where I think we, we have to go to the chairman officer for... I don't know if this is a, we can go select someone at this rate or if it's someone that we have to advertise for. Yeah, I don't know. I, I also don't know, you know, are they on a state of Massachusetts schedule or like, I don't have any of that detail yet, right? So, yeah. um, because they're, a base, you know, if they're on a certain schedule, we may not need to compete it. Um, what, what I would suggest we do um, a couple of options. Um, number one is I can turn over the information that I have to you, Tim, and mm -hmm. you can follow up and negotiate and um, work with Tom to figure out if we can get a, a you know, a, a request uh, supported by the select board. Um, they are entertaining um, proposals for ARPA right now. Um, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I, I received an email just yesterday uh, or the day before uh, uh, that got forwarded to me, uh, which was an invitation to the school committee to, to submit proposals. So, um, so they are entertaining proposals for ARPA money now. And I believe that the schedule is fairly accelerated for that. And, you know, given the importance of this, I, I do think that this is potentially something that could be turned on within a week or two, um, or at least earmarked or something. Um, so there's that. Um, the the other option is uh, I could continue to pursue this, perhaps invite them to our next meeting, uh, and and see where that takes us. I guess before we did any of that, wouldn't we, I, we would need to go to the procurement officer and make sure that they wouldn't disqualify themselves or yeah, that's a fair process. point. Too. Yeah, I can reach out to um, Ezekiel or Heather on that, or or Tim can too. I guess. Yeah. So, does something have to go out to bid? I mean, do we have to post it and allow others to bid for it, or is is there? I have no idea how that process works. You know, other types of projects, you have to put it out to bid, request for request for bids and stuff. There's different, my understanding is, is that there's different thresholds in terms of dollar values. And also, if they are on a procurement schedule with the state or not, the, mm -hmm. the rules are applied differently based on those mm -hmm. criteria. So, and, and I don't, I'm not, you, you, you have just exceeded my knowledge of this. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's something we can ask Julie to look into as well. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about what Julie's role always is. And, you know, she does the hiring, so she certainly should know some of these types of things. Yeah, I would think so. I think Heather would be able to answer the question in a mm -hmm. minute. Okay. Email the or give her a call. All right. Why don't I reach out to Heather tomorrow and, uh, and tell her kind of what we're here, what we're thinking and where we're at and, uh, I mean, she could get us on the agenda as well of the select board if we need to be. Um, she may have the discretion to just do it without. Yeah, yeah, she might. So, I know, like for the other types of things, just the advertisement with MMA and things like that. She just said, you know, she's got the discretion to do that. So, yeah, we have a 
there's a advertising budget line in her office but is there okay to my knowledge there isn't a recruiter line so yeah but but, but there, it could be potentially covered by some other line give me the name again um community paradigm p a r a d i community paradigm p a r a d i g m Paradigm. Yep. Okay. Associates. Yep. But his name was Bernie Lynch. Bernie Lynch. Yep. Okay. All right. And where are they out of? Um, I believe he is in the. I, I want to say he said he was in the South Shore, but his his partner, uh, John Petrin, is actually in Bolton. Okay. He's close by. And he said that, you know, were we to proceed, he thought that John would probably work with us given his closer proximity. So. Okay. If we invited him to our next meeting, how long would we need to speak with him? I'm thinking I had already invited Heather to come to the next meeting and our next meeting is scheduled for the 31st. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're scheduled for six o'clock on that evening, I believe. Um, and I had asked Heather to come at six, but I could push her back if we were going to take a half an hour. For example, yeah, I would leave that to your discretion, Tim, based on the answers to the questions that we just got, and you know, maybe a conversation mm -hmm. that you have and follow up with uh, one of those partners. Okay, all right. Okay, so <clears throat> some work to do with that, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I can follow up with Tom. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can follow up with Tom if he had any other. Uh, yeah, I may have been. They talked to the same firm. I, I suspect same. Tom had a very similar conversation with the, their other partner. Yeah. yeah, I suspect so. That's how they knew Heather and, and knew we were looking. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, um, any other reports or uh, follow up from the last meeting? So I think we were going to talk about. Um, so that I think this is really the number four on the agenda then is what are our other recruiting methods. And I think maybe that's this, right? I mean, there's nothing else we can really do, hire a recruiter and or advertise ourselves. The only two options. Yeah. Okay. Did yeah. you look on the did you look on the MMA site for other recruiting? Um, I did. It's firms? not, it's not really it doesn't really <laughs> the MMA may be missing an opportunity to uh, a revenue opportunity for advertisers because it's a it's a pretty straightforward website and um, I was not able to come up with any kind of you know aside from picking up this name from minutes and I think I saw them in an ad yeah as well uh, but I didn't see anybody else listed I, I can't you know I probably looked at five or six listings so I, I didn't I didn't look at every listing on there. But. Okay. All right. I mean, we could, we could potentially do that and, you know, comb for more names. I don't, I don't get the sense that this is a, uh, you know, that there's more than a couple, three that, that do this locally. Yeah. That's what the MMA only had three or four names yeah. <laughs> that I recall. And, and plus spending more time looking for more recruiting firms just continues to add more to the yeah. 16 week time lane line that we'd like to, if we could adhere to. Okay. You found um, this through looking at minutes from other. Yeah, I just you know spent an hour kind of combing through Google and looking yeah. at looking at you know town manager search kind of stuff yeah. you know and came across them that way. Yeah, I don't remember how old I had done the same thing, and I don't remember how old something that I was reading, but it had been at Niagara. Um, town had used them, but maybe it was something old, and I didn't even pick up on it. Yeah, there that are there are yeah. there are news articles and minutes from I believe 2013 for Bennett yeah. here, and there isn't anything that okay. substantially more yeah. than that. Yeah. Yeah, I might not have looked carefully. Okay. Um want to talk about um Chris's um proposed ad. I think we can still work on that and well, know, perhaps week? use that. If we hired a recruiter, would they would they not develop? Well, I think I think us having it 
to give to them, um, you know, is still helpful. And you've done a lot of work on it, or AI did one or the other. <laughs> it was done. Right. Do you, uh, you want to share, Chris? I can make you uh, co-host. Okay. I don't have my email open on this machine, and. I did the old fashioned split screen. I have it on my phone at the same time I have it on my computer. As to my level of technology. Yeah, it's all good. Whatever works for me. So um, I, I, I made some notes, Chris, if you want to just jot them down or do whatever you want. Um, obviously, the top has to say town manager of where. Um, so um, you know, Lunenburg MA, Lunenburg Worcester County MA, whatever it is, especially if we're um, advertising on ICMA or GovHR or wherever, um, you know, we got to make sure we uh, get that clear. Um, there's a couple places, um, and I didn't really note where they are, but um, down under financial management, and there was one place I can see right now that says work with town council and it's work with the uh, the select board, not town council. Yeah. And I think that appears somewhere else as well. Um, yeah, up under strategic planning, it's going to say the same thing. And number two. Is select board one word or two? I think it's one word, I, but I don't know. I think, I don't know. I, think <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do you think it is? I think it's two, but. You do, whatever. Yeah. Select board, yep, not a problem. Um, then I, I would just throw this out for, you know, your thoughts. Um, it says a lot about leadership. And I, I'm wondering if we want to have a word that says supervision instead of leadership. I remember when um, when we interviewed Carrie. <clears throat> yeah, when we interviewed Carrie, she said, "Be careful that there's a difference between town administrators and town managers. Town administrators don't have hardly any authority, um, so they might work with and provide leadership, but town managers actually supervise and have that authority. And that in the marketplace um, uh, of these types of positions, there's a big difference." So I throw that out there if you want to. So I, I view around. leadership as a more strong quality than supervision. Okay. In my in my opinion, supervisors sign time cards and. Okay. I guess, I, I, I guess the term leadership here, you know, provide, provide leadership to town departments to delegate responsibilities. That effectively encompasses supervision. I think that the, the problem here is when you talk about leadership, you could be talking about leadership like, you know, capital L leadership to make gigantic changes or, or um, you know, spearhead big policy initiatives or, you know, changes from a town to a city or something, you know. So there's kind of big L and little L. Yep. Um, How about that? Yeah, I think that too. Yeah. Yeah. I guess part of my thought on that is I, I think there's some supervision on like continue to do the way we do things, but I think there's also some opportunity for leadership to change some paradigms. Well, and I think um, we want that, don't yeah. we? I mean, we want more strong management, right? And that's, you know, considered to be uh, an important focus for the next town manager. So I was just wanted to make sure we were clear on that kind of language. Okay. Um, I, I guess that was most of what, you know, since we're not probably not going to post it, uh, I don't really need to deal with the other things at the bottom. <clears throat> you know, what kind of a deadline did we want to set for people to submit it? Or do we want to go with rolling basis? What do we want to say? I mean, I think it'd be important to hear from the recruitment firm 
um, what we're going to say about salary. Tom had suggested last week that we could just simply say the current salary is 160. And I'm not sure that's the best strategy. And I'm not sure we can say it because the sound, this select board hasn't told us what their range is. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I heard before the lightning kicked me off that they said um, they wanted to just go with competitive. Yeah. Salary okay. or something like that. But, um, Someone, Peter, you mentioned um, the town meeting government is important. So maybe that needs to be. Yeah, yeah, good thinking. Yeah, it, you know, I'm just, so there are two things that I'm kind of thinking about here. Um, could you scroll down to the community engagement and stakeholder relationships? Um, so one thing here that that this document doesn't hit and I'm just thinking out loud here, I'm not even suggesting this. Um, but, you know, I, I think one of the areas where we could stand to make improvements in Lunenburg is the le the 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 partnership and collaboration between the town manager and the superintendent of schools. Um, yeah. And, and you know, fostering collaboration between those two executive boards. Um, I, you know, it, it, you basically say that in, in language that includes all board, you know, boards and, 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 and departments, but the insinuation may be that that all falls under the direct supervision and responsibility of the town manager. But as we all know, um, there are some there are some shared and overlapping responsibilities here that that we we need to uh, we need to acknowledge. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, but uh, but it's to the town meeting government thing though. Uh, Chris, you can I, put that in the first paragraph where you talk about Lunenburg small rural, where they where they I was thinking of this too, where they five member select board uh in a New England town manage town meeting format. With a New England town meeting. Is this right? Is it something like that? Yeah. Yeah. I think like Tom said last week, I mean, people that are applying for these jobs have had this basic understanding of what these jobs are. Okay. Now, if they're, you know, if they're from another state and you know, the recruiting firm says somebody can come in and, and learn these things, you know, maybe they don't know about town meeting. Um, that kind of stuff. And, yeah. go ahead. No, 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 I'm with you. I thought you would. Yeah, okay. Do you think we sh might want to point to the lunenburgma.gov website in the overview? Sure. I mean, I would hope they would do that, but that's, yeah, sure. I mean, that when we interviewed Heather, the first question that I always asked is, what did you do to prepare to come to the interview? And I expected them to say they went on our website, which wasn't as good as it is now, and but could still use a lot of help. Um, you know, and, and we sent them a packet of all the financial reports and is that right, Lundberg MA .co? I believe. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. HTTPS. Not that it matters.
Yeah, that, what exactly did it say about salary? Just commensurate? Um, yeah, right here it says competitive salary and comprehensive benefits packages. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Supportive, supportive. You can, you can, you can say supportive community. Okay, all right. I feel supported, <laughs> don't you? Depends on the day. I was going to say it's been some rough couple of years. Okay, yeah. And then you can put in my contact information. Um, where would I put that? Right down here says you should. Uh, Three at the very bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Interested okay. persons for references, and then my name and the, the town, the town's address. Um, yeah, I don't know. Chair of the screening, chair screening committee, something like that. I don't know. You say chairman? Don't you have to say chairperson today? What do you want to be? <laughs> he, she. Tom, we, did, Tom, we did go Tom through the me. effort of uh, gender neutralizing our <laughs> charter and bylaws. It probably is chairperson. It's, it, yeah, I was talking to Steve Archambault, who did the uh, bylaws and charter um, the last time we go around. And I said, you know, next time it's all going to be about he, she, they. Every single word is going to be they, 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 they. Going to be politically correct. Um, um, uh, what's the town? What's town hall's address? I don't know. There's a PO box, I think. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then my in my email, the Outlook yeah. email, I guess. And do we have to say something, Chris, about it being uh, held confidential? Um, hold on. We so, do. Um, let me just. Where? Um, what is your email? T. T. Murphy. At Lunenburg, whatever that. Everybody's got the same address. Lunenburg, Lunenburgma.gov. Not everyone. No, that's right. Beardmore, it's got to be different. Yeah, we do have a, our address is 17 Main Street, Post Office Box 135, if you want that. There you go. PO Box, what? 135. And, um, There was something in the packet from um, that Adam reviewed from um, Koppelman and Page that talked about uh, all all resumes will be uh, held in in strict strict confidential security or whatever. Yeah. That's good. Right. Not just confidentiality, strict confidentiality. Yeah, I like strict. <laughs> okay. You put mostly supportive community? No, that's all right. <laughs> I, I, as an as an aside, supportive community. You know, I think these jobs have changed because of social media has changed. You know, you could be the town manager, you know, kind of behind your desk quite a bit of time before there was Facebook and all the other social media, all the accessibility. Um, and I think it's become a much more difficult job in those respect. And you've got to be able to manage the social Yeah, he's back. I mean, one of the one of the things I've heard is that Heather's 
you know, thinking about just going, getting out of municipal government and getting more into the private sector. And that may be part of the reason is that, that things have just changed in that regard. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's a very, very visible job. I mean, even our rules can be very visible. I mean, yeah. Yeah. we're all recorded and there's yeah. videos of us making opinions right. that are yeah. right. sometimes not well formed because they're on the spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, by the way, Peter, there was nobody in the waiting room, right? David? No, Pastor I keep David. watching. We're, we're okay. Good. Thank yeah, you. I'll, thank you. I'm waiting for Dave to show up. Yeah, I know. He's probably okay. watching people get interviewed. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, what he's doing. You bet. Absolutely. You're uh, you're still sharing, Chris. By the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saving. Okay. Uh -huh. And can you just can you send that to me, please? Yep. Thank you. Okay, so the action item for me is to get to Heather. Talk about this subject matter and um, and most likely get on the agenda uh, at the select board meeting as well. Now, if she can do it on her own, but do we really have the authority to do it on our own, I guess? What is it? <laughs> Steve, Steve Archambault says, people are always asking, what does the charter say? <laughs> so the charter says there will be a screening committee. It doesn't say pretty much anything else is it how it's formed and who's on it and that kind of stuff but well we're not resourced or budgeted so you know whatever we do from a from a budget scenario we've got to we've got to ask yeah but so, i'm just saying if heather says that she's got the authority to give us $12,000 to start it you know i suppose we have the authority to go ahead and do it yeah i would say so you know i would if I she would, feels uh, that she's yeah I gladly beg for those. forgiveness later. If somebody <laughs> always a good policy. Yeah. So we'll ask the sec select board for a salary range because I think when you get to the recruitment uh, firm, they're going to want to know well, what's your salary range. You know, that's first question I would think. Yep. And, okay. So that's my my to do list. Um. Okay, that was good. And I thank you, Chris, for doing that. You and your AI friends. Um, Don't tell my secrets. <laughs> so the next thing on the agenda is um, talk about our meeting next. It's in two weeks, the meeting on the 31st. And um, just what, I mean, I had asked Heather to come at six, but I could push her back. How long do you think you would want to talk to Heather about her thoughts about what we need and and um, how she'd go about looking at it? You need a half an hour, you need 45 minutes to an hour. What do you need? I don't know. Yeah. I, I would say we maybe split the difference, go 40 minutes. Yeah. So let's do Heather at 6.45. Let's, let's see if this guy will come at 6. Give us 45 minutes to just get a sense of who they are um, and whether or not it's something that, you know, he, he can sell us on in 45 minutes. That give him enough time? I would think. That would be more than enough. I would say even a half an hour. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then we'll have Heather, and we're going to do, well, we were going to do... Um, her in person, do you want to invite him to come from Bolton, all the way from Bolton, or shall we uh, give him the opportunity to, to do it on Zoom? What do you want? Either way. Yeah. I'm going to ask him to come, because I like personal. And we'll see. And if he says they can't, but they, but that's the only, but we need him that night, and we'll offer it by Zoom. All right. And I'll push Heather back to 645. Yeah, I mean, and if they can't come, then we move it all up. Yeah, yeah, we will. Um, the other thing that we had done um, the last go around is we um, uh, offered the um, the department heads an opportunity to weigh in on what they're looking for as a new manager. That doesn't have to be at the next meeting, so we can push that out 
uh, to, to a later meeting in sometime in um, mid-August or whatever, when we're starting to get to the point where we're sorting resumes, maybe and looking at candidates. Uh, and I want to, you know, I want to give them an opportunity to be heard about what they're looking for um, in management. Okay, so we can I, push that out. I would recommend Tim reaching out to them to collect their thoughts. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like get thinking about yeah. this. Yeah. Because I would prefer to have an opinion that may be formed over a couple of weeks of thinking yeah, about, I can, you know what right. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I can send it out and tell them that it's sometime, you know, in, in the next month or so, we're going to be asking you and if you could give it some thought, I can do that uh, and start that way. Um, and I'll just go through the list of the department heads that we used the last time and have Annie help me put that together. Um, so that was be my agenda item on six. And then the only other thing I think that I wanted to address is what are we going to do about um, future meetings? We don't have Tom here. We don't have Matt here. So we don't really know what their calendars are. My recollection from our first meeting was that Tom said, this is the last time I can do a six o'clock meeting because he's no longer able to work exclusively from home. Yeah, I'm all six o'clock can also be hard for me. Um, okay. Yeah, but then you got to find the night of the week that everybody's available. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a strong opinion. Um, you know, the, the, the hard thing here is finding a night that you have members from the planning board, yep. school committee, finance committee, and select board, right? And and right. the way that has been done through capital planning, which we have, <laughs> Chris and I both have experience with, is um, you got to find the off cycle nights on Mondays or Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and and it depends on the month if those meetings are in the same week or not, right? So <laughs> the school committee meets on the first and third Wednesday of the month. And the planning board meets on the, I believe the second and fourth Monday of the month. So what that has a, the effect of doing is sometimes those are the same week and sometimes yeah. they're not depending upon where the calendar lands. And is it, it's the same problem, whether it's a Monday or a Wednesday, or are we more often going to have an easier time on Monday? No, it's the, it's the, it's equally difficult. Equally, okay. yeah. yeah. So what we wound up doing like last December, um, the, the school committee and the planning board were meeting on the same weeks. So mm -hmm. we wound up having two meetings on the off weeks to, to finish our work. Um, so we just have to look at a calendar and figure that out for August. Okay. So our next we'll one though is the 31st. Say what? I think you said the next meeting is the 31st. 31st. We had we had agreed on the 31st. I thought we agreed on six o'clock. But wow, maybe a window. Well, my wife's telling me my house is going to blow over, that the uh, Wicked Witch of the West and the tornado is going to be swirling around. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I heard the thunder. I heard the thunder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I believe um, the, the school committee is actually looking at, I don't think we have a hard meeting scheduled for August, but the intent was to meet either on the 21st or the 28th. Um, and as it's turned out, we may have to have an interim meeting next week as well. Um, but, um, what about, can we tentatively do the 19th of August to Monday? Uh, that I think should work for the planning board. What was the date? The uh, 19, it's a Monday. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. So let's tentatively say that for August 19th. Am I incorrect? Had we agreed on the six o'clock on the 31st or not? Do I know if Tom has already got a conflict or whatever? We don't. I don't remember. And I didn't write it down. All right. 
I mean, I, I know I said it because I know I said I had invited Heather to come at six o'clock on the 31st. But anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll I put think out six o'clock is fine. I mean, it, it also, we're keeping Heather an extra hour. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> we are. Okay. All right, so the 31st, we'll do six o'clock with these guys, the recruitment people, um, and um, hopefully in person. We'll do Heather as soon as they're done. <clears throat> we'll schedule her for 6.45, poor thing. But we, she only has to put up with us for a couple more days after that. Um, uh, I'll get out to her tomorrow and talk about the recruiting firm and getting on the agenda of the select board if we need to, et cetera, and so on. Um, and we'll tentatively schedule our next meeting for the 19th of August. Sounds good. Good. Jackie, the uh, awning on the trailer is out and it's pouring rain and I got to go put the awning in before it blows away. So um, I'll entertain a motion. <laughs> I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Uh, second. Thank you very much. Pre appreciate it. Gentlemen, have a good evening. Stay dry. All right. Take care. Bye.